All right, guys. So here we have a version of the Android category team that I will be running sometimes. Now, you could do this a couple different ways. Uh, two 17s. You could have a couple of different Android 21s. Actually, you know what? We will go with another Android 21 because the whole point of this video is Android 21. The whole, all the Android 21s on the team that we could possibly fit in here. So why not get another one? So we have four of my wife on this team. Now, there's another word for this team, and it is the Immortal Team, because every one of these fuckers, except for uh, Android 17, who he's just too good not to bring. Like, I, I could probably slip in... Is there another healing Android unit? There is. Uh... Off the top of my head, I can't remember. There's definitely another healing Android unit. But I could make a full, like, Android healing team. Oh, yeah. Let's have uh, 21, the Int 21 go first. So this is pretty much like SCR 21 sitting at our max right here. So you can build this Android team of all of these fuckers healing. It just creates a situation where you're, you're going to be immortal. Now... Would this work in like an Android category stage for the super, for Super Battle Road? I guess that's like a different thing entirely because the thing about Super Battle Road is you are going to take so much damage that like they might be able to crack through you, right? So that's why you would probably need uh, 16. I'd say 16 is very important for what will eventually be the Android category Super Battle Road. That's why I'm actually... I'm debating going back in on that uh, Android banner to get a couple more copies of 16. The only thing is, uh, it's just, uh, I, I, don't know. I don't know about all that. So 21, I love her super attack, by the way. Any unit that has, ooh, 1.4 million, pretty good. Any unit that has that close-up uh, kind of in their super attack animation, I absolutely fucking love it. Uh, after I get the in orbs necessary, I am going to 100% uh, the TUR version of Android 21. So here we have kind of the, uh, the lab coat worker 21. She is also another unit that heals just like SCR 21, just like the, uh, the TUR in 21. She's not bad. Now she is going to have low stats. If you don't put orbs into her, like taking a look at her, you know, she's only got 3000 defense. So I don't know that I would run lab coat 21 all the time, but it is still cool having the SSR version of her as well because she is a, a relatively solid unit, right? Like, she will be able to hold her own enough to where it's not really that big of a deal bringing her. It is nice that they made um, her an SSR and then the the int good transformed one, she's a TUR. Uh, so because of that, you can give potential system buffs uh, to the, uh, the in Android 21, right? Uh, the, the, the SSR, the lab coat one. So, okay. And SCR 21, she heals every time she supers. So her getting an additional super right there means she's going to fucking heal twice. And then 17, the MVP. I love how they basically combined his super, like two different attacks he did in the final episode, by the way. And then 21, lab coat 21 has her own super attack, which does look pretty good. Like, that's just a normal SSR right now, and a unit probably not many people are going to have because they're going to, you know, awaken uh, the SSR one into the, this one right here. So it's cool to see that they actually put the effort in for her, for her super attack as well. Like, I just absolutely love th this this whole update, right? All these cards are very good. Strong free-to-play cards, strong categories. Dokkan, ever since Legends was first, like, introduced and announced dokkan has just been on top of it killing shit free to play lrs the free to play ginyu force like the the power creep is being done in such a way where like it's more about creating powerful te like teams than just like jacking up the leader skills and the passives and stuff right like before you know the biggest like gap we might ever see was in Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta was a Dokkan Fest exclusive unit where his leader skill was int types 100% stats, no key, and then his passive, he had 100% attack. 
And then the next fucking Dokkan Fest is SDR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, who gets 120% to all to SDR types and 3 key, and he had 150% attack on his passive. Like, that is a fucking power creep right there, to where 21 shits on Int Vegeta, or excuse me, I said 21. Super Saiyan 4 Goku shits on Int Vegeta in every single way possible. Like, they just, <laughs> they created a beast here. Like, what they've been doing lately is they're just slowly sort of releasing units that are good in differing ways rather than really bunch them way up. The transformation mechanic is an interesting way to balance some of these really powerful units as well. Like, I would say LR, Gogeta, and Vegito, those two are just straight broken, but it's, it's just those two, right? They didn't then continue to make... Like every unit on those on their level, I would still say those are the best two units in the game, uh, LR Gogeta and Vegito. But it, they're not like on a, a, t a tier that's unattainable by themselves, right? Like like you can build a fusion category team without LR Gogeta, that's still really good. You can build a Patara category team without LR Vegito, that's still really good. Whereas, you know, you look at, like, the STR team back in the day, you didn't have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, you're not running that team. Like, so that's another good thing they're doing. We have multiple leaders for a lot of these teams now. Fusion has multiple leaders, Patara has multiple leaders, uh, the Android category has multiple leaders. And I'm not even, I'm not counting, like, free-to-play units either, by the way, right? Like, I'm counting, like, actual different, like, top-tier level leaders. Like, Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, and then you got, you know, LR Super Vegito. Both are very good leaders in their own right. Now, here we go. The waifu rotation, baby. My wife, in all of her different forms, look at this beauty right here. Mmm, this is perfect. Perfection. Perfection, perfection, perfection. And any damage we take from Gogeta, she will just heal right up. Oh, you're going to super. <laughs> Go ahead, Gogeta, you fucking bitch. Super attack. Oh, 82k, that's pretty good. Uh, don't mind me. 1.6 million attacks, that, by the way, is very damn good. But I'm just going to go ahead and heal all that damage you did. <laughs> Excuse me, Gogeta. Well, uh, <laughs> I just rectify the little damage you did. Look at that. Basically, all the way back up. And then, of course, the Int 21. She's not really going to take much damage. I'm very curious to see how she's going to look on this team. Like uh, a double, maybe Android 17 team with uh, this Int Android 21 rainbow. Uh, I'm really, I can't, I'm so excited for the tournament just so I can rainbow her. Like, seriously. Also, I'm very disappointed that 21 has not transformed. And then, of course, this GT cell at the end here, uh, he also heals. And he does seal as well, but, like, you're you're not going to get that seal off. So, I was looking through the list. I don't... There is the, the tech first form cell. He does also heal, but you're definitely not going to bring him. I swore there was one more uh, Android category unit that can heal that I was thinking of bringing on the team to build the full sort of healing team. But, no, I don't see them. Okay. I, I mean, it doesn't really matter. They've already given us enough units that can do it, right? And then tanking units as well. Like, you just bring 16. And 16 is going to dramatically lower any damage you're going to take. What with his uh, defensive passive being as high as it is. And the high chance to guard all attacks. It's like, please. And then even that free-to-play cell, by the way, has a really nice looking uh, super attack. And he's a free-to-play unit. So this is a little disappointing. We really didn't get the transformation, huh? Okay. All right, I guess my girl, you know, she had a stage fright against uh, Gogeta. That's that's fine. That's fine. She doesn't want to transform. She doesn't want to lick her lips right now. That's, yo. <laughs> the craziest thing about 21's transformation is the licking of the lips. It's like, girl, we, we got to chill. <laughs> yo. I love that shit. It's good shit. And this tech cell too. Again, notice how I'm not really like I didn't build this team around tech cell, and he's just casually sitting there. Two point one million. Goodbye. Like tech cell is so. He's like the what was he? He's the second fucking Dokkan Fest. The second Dokkan Fest unit, and he's like. <laughs> nearly LR level, like, for real, like, his stats, Tech Cell's stats, 
Like, let, let, let's go take a look at his stats, right? He has better stats than the LR Androids, by the way. So, he has 19,000 HP, almost, you know, 18.5 thousand attack, and then 14,000 defense. Like, they gave him the extra key per Rainbow Sphere, too. That little thing. That's all they needed to do to make it to where he can consistently hit his, uh, <clears throat> his super attack. Enough to where, like, he's actually able to really uh, take control and do a lot of damage. Again, I, I got nothing but praise for uh, the way the Android category team has been buffed and sort of put together in, really, I guess, the last uh, couple months. Because we've had so many new cell cards that it was, I guess, kind of obvious that the Android category uh, was coming, you know, sooner rather than later, right? Because they wouldn't be released, like, again, we got Angel Cell, we got uh, this GT Cell, we got another GT Cell, we got the Final Form Cell, World Term Reward, like, just so many different versions of Cell that it was so clear that uh, the Android category was coming. So I'll have SCR21 uh, go first so that she can get this upcoming... Dokkan attack. <laughs> now, if she doesn't crit, she's probably not going to finish uh, Sin off right here. Since uh, he does have the the type advantage over her. Also, I'm a little disappointed how infrequently I'm seeing 21 transform. Like, I swore she was going to transform as much as Evolution Blue Vegeta. Maybe it's because, like, in a lot of these videos, I'm so badly wanting her to transform... And it's not really occurring. Like, 20... Or, or, excuse me, not 21. Uh, Vegeta. Evolution Blue Vegeta. Like, he is just constantly transforming in videos where I I'm not, like, showcasing him, right? He's not the main focus of the video. So, every single time, it's just like, oh, here Blue Vegeta goes. Transforming yet again. So, I could just be having bad luck with it, too. That that's another thing. Uh, We'll keep... Uh, let's, let's have 17 go first here. Uh, we'll we'll kind of keep him around. Upcoming, we are going to come up to the point where uh, Sin is going to start fucking with our rotations. So I'm going to be very, very curious to see how our Android category team, you know, with all the waifu 21s on it, can kind of hold its own moving forward against this Omega. Uh, uh, this Omega, SCR and Physical Omega, he is still very, very powerful. Uh, okay, so... He's going to break up our rotation just like this. Uh, in 21, she's going to take a lot of damage at the start there because her defense is just so low. But then STR and in 21s, uh, they should be able to heal pretty much all the damage uh, the SSR one takes. I don't want Omega to super her, though. That, that, would, that would do a lot of damage at that point. But, ooh, it would also activate Big Bad Bosses. Yeah, okay, so... We're going to see SCR21 with Big Bad Bosses active right now. 138. That's a lot, but we'll be okay because she's going to super. 1.65. Again, we could get a little higher because she doesn't have Fierce Battle active. And, you know, we also could get the additional 20% uh, coming from having a second Android 17 leader rather than the second uh, Android 21 leader. I think we're still over 50% HP, so there we go. Uh, she transforms. The best transformation animation in the game. Lick them lips, go! Yeah, I love it. <laughs> All right, here we go. You fucking bitch. I actually okay. If Omega had locked Cell in place, I actually would have had to use an item right there because Omega would have done like 500k damage to that Cell. Omega hits very, very hard. But I was able to move SCR uh, 21 in there. Now she's gonna take nothing. From uh, Omega because her defense buffs up to 130% along with her attack. So she's going to be able to hit really hard. And then, of course, her defense is going to be pretty nice as well. So loving that right there. Uh, our health also has regen a good amount. So that going into this uh, next Omega phase, we could see the other one, other 21 could still uh, transform as well. So loving the Android category team. I, I still, I haven't like. <laughs> In, like, every video I've done, I haven't had to use an item yet with this Android category team. One day, uh, one of these fuckers are going to make me use <laughs> an item. <laughs> one day. Now, SCR21 is locked at the end there. Uh, we will take a significant, like, Omega? 
probably would do like 160, 170, 180k if he supered that int 21 though. So I, I definitely hope he doesn't super her. But we, I don't think there's any way. Okay, yeah, he's gonna super sell. That's perfect. Uh, sell, by the way, if you can get him like four, five, six orbs, he can tank so beautifully. So a little disappointed. Two fights in this video. Uh, we we're only able to see one of the 21s transform. Whoa! 57k on a normal? Yo, if he supered that 21, he would have done like. <laughs> he would have done like 220k or something. That would have been crazy. But we're looking pretty good. Uh, is 17 locked in place? He is. Okay. So, we'll let int 21 get hit probably once right here, but we do have 17 on this rotation. So, that he's giving the extra 60% deep. Wow! 1.7 we got up to for SCR 21 right here. And this is the friend 21, by the way. She's not rainbowed uh, like mine is. So, once 21 transforms, uh, I do think you could probably reach... A 2 million attack set with the transform 21. Uh, if you would have... Okay, this is going to hurt bad, but we should be okay. Because <laughs> they do have big bad bosses along with 17... Uh, 136... Wow! That was a very good tanking job by 21 right there. Uh, having Android 17 60% defense, plus the extra 25% from big bad bosses, uh, certainly did help us out a lot. Holy shit. Uh, okay, so... Hmm... Right here at the end, I am going to have to use an item. Yeah. He is going to make me use an item here. Damn it, because he locked that cell. Because I'm using so many free-to-play units that I don't have orbs in, they just get absolutely crushed. I will have to use an item here. Oh, it pains me so. But we'll have to use one item. Then we can move cell right there. And cell will go ahead and finish it off. Uh, I, I definitely wouldn't use this version of the team again uh, until I rainbow the uh, at least the TUR. That's the only problem with running like an, an SSR free-to-play unit is their stats are going to be so low. So if you don't give them the orbs, then they can get absolutely crushed. But the Android category team, the healing, the defense, all of it, it's just way, way too much. Absolutely loving it. It probably would work even a little better if we had the double Android 17 rather than the double Android 21 here. Uh, because then that would give us the additional health. But I did kind of want to get put the focus on the 421s. Absolutely love it. Thanks, y'all, for watching. And I'll catch y'all next time.